Red light safety cameras mounted on poles at intersections are meticulously engineered and maintained to accurately capture potential red light running violations. The technology is complex, but let's break it down in simple terms and explain the basic operation of these life-saving devices. Take a look at this intersection. Sensors embedded in the road are here and here. These areas are called the detection zone. Here, red light safety cameras sit on each side of the road. In this case, one is on the southeast corner and the other is on the northwest corner. As vehicles approach the intersection, the sensors in the detection zone are always on alert for a red light runner. And when a violation occurs, the full technology of the red light camera system is triggered. The sensors are alerted to activate the cameras. The camera positioned behind the sensors is the first one to flash. It captures the image of the rear of the vehicle, including the license plate. In most cases, a 12-second video of the violation is also recorded. The camera system has done its job, but the process is far from over. From here, the images take a wireless journey to be closely monitored and double-checked for accuracy. The images travel to a data center where a team of trained technicians carefully review the pending red light violation images and video. They check everything from the clarity of the license plate and all things in between. If there's any question about the accuracy of the violation, the images are reviewed again and may be dismissed immediately. But if a violation is confirmed here, the data is then sent on for a more intensive review. What I'd like to get across is you have real human being police officers doing the final review. The work that they do to make sure they have the right person, to make sure the car matches, and to make sure that there was in fact a violation. It's just not haphazard. Now in some cases, some of these red light violations are just so very close. Normally the first thing we'll do with those is reject them. If there's a red light violation, we then accept that violation to be processed and sent out for assignments. The number of accidents at the intersections where we're using the program have in fact gone down. What we'd like the program to do is simply modify behavior, get people thinking about the fact that they are driving a vehicle. And that 3,500 pound vehicle can definitely cause a lot of damage to themselves or to others.